Hey people, how's it going? Another day, another city, a new country, and a new continent. We've never been to this side of the world before, so we're very excited. We're here in Abu Dhabi. Let's have a closer look. So, we are very excited to go and explore a new country and a new city. And, like always, we've rented a nice cheap apartment through Airbnb and we'll give you a little tour of it before we leave. So, what does 60 pounds per night get you in Abu Dhabi? Well, let's have a look. So, we have a lovely couch, nice table, a lovely wife. It's our anniversary yesterday, by the way. So, we're celebrating uh, the day. We didn't get to celebrate the day of our anniversary here, but it was the day after, so still pretty cool. Nice little table for us to sit down in. Nice little mirror and we've got microwave nice little fridge kettle oven extractor washing machine sink nice little bathroom hello <laughs> i always do that don't i <laughs> and something new for us a bidet i think that's what they call a bidet um, so basically, this is where you wash yourself, I believe, before you go to the toilet. So you toilet, wash, dry, I think. I've got to look into that. <laughs> and uh, very sunny out today, so we're looking forward to that. Nice little bath, shower. And a queen size bed, which is pretty cool. Weren't expecting that, so uh, yeah, bear in mind we didn't pay much. And then a uh, TV and all that jazz. So, yeah, very happy so far. So, what's the goal today? Well, we're just going to go and explore, as we always do. Uh, we got here at like, what was it, about half two in the morning? Yeah, we got, we finally got to, we got to the apartment. Three, we got yeah. here in Abu Dhabi about one in the morning we got to the apartment about an hour and a half late we had to figure out the transport stuff like that so essentially what you do is when you're looking to travel you have to go and buy a what's the pass called tammy do you have them still i'll get to dig them out you have to buy a bus pass uh from the counter um it's just out it's just near the exit to the um airport lovely gentleman there, there. here we go it's a, let's get into a better lighting, a Hafiat card, okay? So you purchase one of them and you have to get it preloaded with a minimum, which is, I believe, 20, no, it's 10 um, United Arab dim, uh, dirhams per card. So we've got two of them, so that's 20. 20 United Arab dim, dirhams is about £4.50. Mm -hmm. That got us a fairly decent ride into the uh, city. I think the ride took us like what, half an hour, 45 minutes? Yeah. And we still have money left because it's a prepaid card so we can continue using that card. I think there's machines around the city where we can find out how much we've got left on it. So we'll probably use the bus to travel. There was a lot of people outside, uh, taxis, selling their services and we were like, nope, we've got a ticket, mate. So always, you know, look for a cheaper option. Given the fact that we arrived so late, we didn't sleep till about five in the morning because our body clocks has to adjust because we'd come from Athens. So we'd been in Athens and we were like, let's go to a new country because we were having a great time in Athens, but we found a fantastic deal to come to Abu Dhabi. And it's not often you get to leave and go to a different continent. The first thing we need to do is we need to find a SIM card. So we tried to purchase a SIM card in, um, in the airport and they're asking for like 180 dirham for a SIM card. And that's about 40 pound. And I was like, not paying that, <laughs> not paying 40. I know I can get it cheaper elsewhere if I look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the nearest mall. It's about 35 minutes on foot. We're gonna head to the mall and uh, we're gonna try and find a SIM card. And uh, yeah, hopefully get a bit of a, some some mobile data because there's a lot to explore but because we don't have data or any access to like wi-fi and it's quite a large city we need to have some sort of like 
you know, Wi-Fi connection to find where we need to go. So we know where we want to go, we need to get there first. And in order to do that, we're going to need some sort of credit. So let's get over to this uh, mall. Let's see what it's got to offer. And uh, we'll have a closer look at Abu Dhabi along the way. But first impressions looks really good. So you're probably thinking to yourself, Bobby, you've learned the language of every country you've been to so far. Have you learned some Arabic? Yes, I have. <laughs> now, uh, I've only been learning this over the past two weeks, so I'll apologize in advance, but this is what I know so far. So, good morning is Sabah Al Khair. Do apologize if that's incorrect. Good evening is Masa Al Khair. Thank you is Shukran. Goodbye is Masalama. The number one is Wahid. The number two is Ifnin. To say please, you would say, well, there's, there's two situations. So if you say it to a man, you'd say Min Fadlak. If you say it to a woman, it's Min Fadlik. So it changes slightly. And that's about all I know. I think that's about all I need because I've, from what I've learned, uh, English is a very, very, very commonly spoken language here. However, to me, it's important to know a few words to show some respect to the to locals and to show my appreciation for the wonderful culture and the wonderful country that I'm in. Okay, we've arrived at the mall. Free Wi-Fi Free wi and air conditioned. Look at this. So nice. <laughs> I think I might stay there under the air conditioning. But uh, yeah, good stuff. Let's go and explore and try and find a SIM card. So, I'm all in Abu Dhabi. Is this what you pictured? I'm not sure what I pictured to be honest, but I knew it would be very beautiful. So, still trying to find a SIM card. Um, temperature's picking up a little bit, so <laughs> maybe get some sun cream as well. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Air conditioned in here, so ready to spend the day in here to be honest, but <laughs> enjoying it so far. All right, so procured a SIM card. Um, we spent roughly 48 dirham on that, so that's about 10 pound. For 10 pound, we got um, two gigs of data, 30 minutes worth of calls, and now we're gonna be able to get around the city using Wi-Fi to find out which buses we need to get, things like that. Enough to keep worrying about trying to connect to Wi-Fi hotspots, because they're not everywhere, unfortunately. Um, this is the first time I've had to do this, actually, so it's uh, quite interesting. Uh, we had a similar issue in Bosnia where uh, the our data provider O2 they were charging us like I think 60 pound for no sorry 45 pound for a gig of data um, and interestingly enough when we got here they were asking us um, I think for 180 100, around 180 dirham for 40 gigs of data but we didn't need that much and um, it was just way too much to spend for two days here I'm not here for very long because um, we're off to another country soon. Is that true? <laughs> I literally put your kid in the train and put A little train in the mall. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little train just over there. Um, so now we've got everything we need, we're going to start heading off. I'm going to go and buy a razor shortly, have a nice little shave because I'm getting a bit, a bit scruffy. We're just outside a, uh, I don't know if you can see, a Starbucks. Um, and strangely enough, we only brought two of these little drinks and that cost us 20 dirham about four quid so <laughs> yeah the, the rates of things are very strange like obviously you can buy a 10 pound sim card for you know two gigs of data but then two bottles of water could cost you four so always shop around but we were very thirsty we've been walking in the desert heat for like 40 minutes so we needed a, a bit of water but yeah onwards and upwards and let's see what we've got to sit there too. I need to realise that I don't think it's it, just up there. But it's only for women and families. So uh, luckily I've clocked on before, you know, before it was too late and uh, came and sat down. But yeah, it's about 20 stops roughly. And then, uh, and then we'll be there. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so there's a slight bit of confusion. So tell me 
is allowed to sit with me over here, but optionally she could sit over there as well. So um, it's not that there's any sort of segregation going on, but women do get a spot and so do families as well, which I think is quite nice actually, uh, somewhere that people can sit and relax and stuff, um, especially for families. So um, finally sat together and the final stop is the mosque. So uh, riding all the way through, I'm not directing the journey, it'll take about an hour. Take about an hour of the journey. Um, we've got some lovely views along the way, so um, yeah, let's get to it. Let's do it. So, if you're curious to get off and on, you uh, tap your card, this, onto that machine on the way in, and it'll tell you your balance. I don't know if you have to do it in and out, we'll find out shortly. Sorry, going up bumps. <laughs> um, so we'll find out when we're on the way out, but we've scanned it in, so we're gonna find out if we have to scan out as well shortly. But we're here, we've arrived at the Grand Mosque and we're gonna go and enjoy it shortly. So oh, hello my friend, um, I'm just wondering, um, with the card, do we scan out or do we scan on the way out or is it just so we, uh, in and out we scan? Okay, thank you. And um, to recharge, how do we recharge these? Is there like a recharging? You want to recharge? Um, but maybe later. If we you can, uh, can you recharge, recharge on online also. Oh, okay. So online in the health machine uh, in the. Oh, there's a machine. The health you machine. Recharge. Oh, yes. thank you so much, brother. Well, thank you. Shukran, shukran. Masalama, guys. Masalama. Okay, so I spoke to a lovely gentleman a moment ago, and he explained. So to get back into town, it will cost two dirham. Um, so. Uh, and to go back to the airport, I think he said it was all further afield, it'd be about four. We have four left in our card, so when we go back into the town, it'll cost us two, we have two left. So to be honest, um, when we return, well, we can recharge it at recharging stations as well, so that's the cool thing. So there's recharging stations in various locations in the city, so we may even recharge it, stick another 10 on there, just to make sure we've got enough to cover ourselves. But let's go and visit. So we're gonna get a McDonald's before we go in because uh, why not? We're a little bit hungry. We're gonna get something authentic later as well, but we're kind of curious to see what you can get in McDonald's. So have a little click, click around. You can get, get rice bowls, that's pretty cool. I actually might go for one of them, that <laughs> sounds really good. I do like a rice bowl. The main menu. Main menu, the Grande Big Mac, wow. Let's go to signature collection. The mushroom beef, mushroom chicken, wow. Oh, Nice. We'll make a decision and then uh, yeah, go from there. All right, here's the order. So we got a chicken mac, a big mac for Tammy. I got a chicken rice bowl, and it comes with curry sauce. Also got a peach iced tea. I don't know what Tammy got. An orange juice, of course. Uh, the reason why we got a chicken big mac is because you can't get them in the UK, and you can't get them in the UK either. But this came to 72 dirham, I think it was. Yeah. So Which like about 16, 16 pounds in total, so yeah, good times. Okay, a quick update. So you're probably thinking, Bobby, why are you wearing your wife's scarf? And why are you wearing these random gloves? Well, so, and obviously in order to enter the mosque, it's ideal not to have tattoos on show, um, especially if the tattoos have faces on them. Now, uh, obviously I have a dragon with a face on it, and I also have a kind of creepy looking geek, ghoulish kind of thing which of course uh, is also a face I also obviously have Jesus on my neck because I'm a Christian so uh, I do not seek to offend anybody's religion or anybody's uh, place of worship but I really want to go and visit and see the beauty so uh, I've covered up basically to show my respects and uh, to, to pay my respects to, uh, to people at the same time being able to enjoy the place of worship and learn more about Islam as well. So I'm very curious to learn more about, about you know, people's religions and stuff. Um, I'm very keen to learn more about who people are. Uh, unfortunately, we've made a small little prob uh, error. So my wife obviously needs to cover her arms. Um, she has a, uh, uh, like a, a jacket, but it's slightly see-through because it's white. So the, when the sun hits it, you can see her arms. So to, she's got to cover that up, which is fine. So we went and brought a, uh, like, a like a covering for her. And she looks really good, she's got a headscarf, she looks, she looks the part, she looks amazing. Unfortunately, it came out to close to 700 dirham, and we didn't realise that to the last minute. Now 700 dirham is around about 150 pound. Now we don't have 150 pound spare to do this. So thankfully, she's gone to the information centre over there. I don't know if you can see her stood, stood over there. 
Well, she's gone to the information centre and she's pleaded with them. She said, I'm really sorry, it's been a mistake. Do you have a refunds and returns policy here? The guy at the counter has been very, very friendly. He's been like, okay, look, I'll come with you. We can sort this out. And she was like, he was like, they're supposed to have a deal. So I'm surprised they haven't honored that deal. So hopefully we can get this sorted. We still want to go and visit. So if we have to go back to the apartment and go and get a jacket or a coat or something darker to cover our arms, then so be it. But I've, I, I brought this scarf knowing that I may need to cover my neck because obviously Jesus is on my, on my neck. And uh, obviously these cost me about 15 dirham, which I don't know how much that is. So I'll share that with you. But not the best start but we're still very determined to get into the mosque it's a beautiful building and we want to go and learn more about Islamic culture so we're going to get this done and try and find a way out of this situation the day has been saved by the brothers over at the uh, the visit at happiness center um, absolute legends so basically here is the new garment that Tammy has and that was 10 10 pound versus the 150 that we were going to pay so he you know better than i do you have to explain love so i went over to um the visit people okay <laughs> and um explained to them showed them the receipt and basically him and a security guard went into the shop and they went literally all guns blazing and say um you've charged her for this when you should have obviously pointed her towards the 45 upwards first and blah 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 so I literally got a full refund and then this for £10 so it just goes to show that you shouldn't drop something because we were just about to go you know what we just have to class it as a loss and go go forward but that is still a lovely garment and a lot cheaper and uh, we can keep that as a memory um, and we we're we wanted something to take home and we've got that now and uh, thank you so much to my brothers at the uh, visitor centre again for helping us there so now we're going to go and try and enter the mosque and uh, go and see what there is all right we're in had to go through security had to scan a barcode the uh, the entry's free so that's good but the whole ordeal is sorted so <laughs> yeah thank you again to those guys man this goes to show there are some good people so um yeah we're gonna go and visit now and we're just on track as we speak all right here we go people i've made it well we've both made it <laughs> so i'm just sorting this lot out so let's have a look at her in her full glory don't you look amazing let's get a video of you over there look look at that hey so it's been a bit of work to get here but it's very much worth it obviously got i don't want to say scammed but technically we was scammed because uh so according to these security guards that i spoke to and i thanked them profusely <laughs> um what they're supposed to do as part of the rental agreement this shop that we purchased this uh this uh, garment from was they were supposed to direct us straight to the cheaper ones and instead what they did was they directed us to the expensive ones so not ideal but we got it solved what a lovely water fountain very beautiful and uh there you go so quite the building it must be said very very pretty i was very keen to visit but obviously knowing that i've got tattoos i was a bit worried about how to get in but thankfully they're very very understanding very accommodating so uh yeah let's get in further and have a closer look here we go look at this this is very nice I like the way the archway goes into uh, that backdrop there. Very pretty. Obviously, there's rules that you should observe when you come here as well. So, no obscene hand gestures. Children and families, fine. Swimming, not permitted. Toys, not permitted. Mask face coverings and decorations. Public affection and flag bearing. Completely fine. You've got to respect other people's wishes and stuff. So, let's go and have a closer look. Got some competition from the old Instagrammers, but we shall push through. It's like a real estate, <laughs> premium estate for the best views. But I shall push through. Sorry, thank you. And there we go. 
that, my friends, is what you would expect to see. Here we go. to prayer how beautiful does that sound That's so calming we heard that this morning and it was just so peaceful there we go it's starting to uh, the sun's starting to set now so it's lucky we got in when we did but there we go people Abu Dhabi free entry as well can you believe that into the new section now and uh, inside the very mosque itself and uh, Wow, <laughs> what a building. Very beautiful. My brothers and sisters of uh, United Arab Emirates, your culture, your food, your people, you're wonderful. I'm really enjoying my time here. Thank you for having us. It's got to be one of the uh, most beautiful buildings I've ever seen in my life, ever. And it just gets better as well, even at night. <laughs> Takes on a whole new uh, charm at night time. Absolutely incredible. Ah, oh, we don't need a taxi, we can walk. Um, there's taxis on the building, that's good for people that need it. Though. We don't need to use it, but... Yeah, so in terms of our first evening in, or our first full day in Abu Dhabi, we've had an amazing time. Oh, we've loved cool. all the people have been so friendly yeah. and so helpful and so kind. And the culture, the food, the religion, everything. We're fascinated by it. It's, it's wonderful. So we're really enjoying it. And uh, we hope to see more. Uh, we've got a, a new country coming up soon. Uh, we're taking a flight out of Abu Dhabi to a new country. So do keep your eyes peeled for that. But um, this has been a wonderful experience and we're so glad we got to share it with you all. And we hope you come here and uh, come and show your respect and love for the culture of UAE. And uh, we thank you for watching us and we hope you all have a wonderful day and we shall see you very, very soon. Take care, people, and see you on the flip side.